Welcome to Soma Academy where I make math simple. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve simultaneous equations using the substitution method. However, before we get started, if you have not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so and hit that notification bell. That way, when I release new content like this, you will get notified. In this example, we have two equations. One is 3x plus y equals to 13. And the other one is 5x minus 2y is equal to 7. And we want to solve these two simultaneous equations by using the substitution method. In order to use the substitution method, you use one of the equations and uh, express the variables, one of the variables in terms of the other. What I mean by that is in the first equation, for example, if we use the first equation, we have, uh, we have the first equation, we have 3x plus y equals to 13. So we have two variables, one is x and the other one is y. So if I want to express y in terms of x, what that will mean is y will be equals to, uh, you take this expression to the other side of the equation, the sign flips. Right now, if it is not shown, it means it's positive, it's positive here. So when you take it to the other side of the equation, the sign will always change. If it was positive, it becomes negative. That thing, I have not taken it to the other side of the equation, so it remains the same, minus 3x. So what I have just done, I have expressed the first equation, for example, the first variable y in terms of x. So therefore, y equals to 13 minus 3 x now that we have y in terms of x what we need to do is in order to solve this uh, equation we use the second equation now the second equation is 5x plus minus 2y equals to i'm just rewriting it is equal to 7 this is our second equation okay so because we have y equals to 13 minus 3x we substitute that into the place where we have uh, y okay so for every instance of y 5x minus 2 times instead of y we put 3 13 minus 3x okay let me repeat one more time this is equal to 7 before I even solve this further and simplify, what I'm saying is that you first express one of the variables, in this case y, uh, in terms of the other. So I'm saying y equals to 13 minus 3x. That is the first. Then the next step is you substitute whatever values you have for y into the second equation. And that's what I did on here. 5x minus 2 but instead of y, I'm putting 13 minus 3x. That is equal to 7. So, let me simplify this further. This is 5x minus 2 times 13. That is 26. Okay. Minus, minus times minus. Okay. So, you have minus 2 multiplied by minus 3x so this time the sign flips because minus times minus is equal to negative times negative is positive so this becomes 3x is equal to 7 okay so now we collect the like terms together let me do it in here so what i have is 5x minus 26 plus 6x equals to 7 is what I have. Now collect the like terms together. So we have 6x here and 5x here. Both of them are positive. So you add them. That is 5 plus 6 is 11x minus 26 is equal to 7. Okay. So what happens? This is like solving a simple equation 
where I made another video on how to do this uh, and I will also put the link to that uh, video in the description in the description below okay so we have 11 X minus 26 is equal to 7 so what should I do because it is negative here I add plus 26 to both sides of the equation also plus 26 if it is negative you add whatever this is to both sides of the equation if it is positive then you subtract the reason is you need to cancel these two okay so you will be left with 11x is equal to when you add 26 plus 7 you get 33 now what should i do in order to get the value for x i divide the coefficient of x to both sides coefficient this is what i'm calling the coefficient okay in this case it's 11. therefore when you divide 11 by 11 that's 1 uh when you divide 11 by 33 that is 3 so what i have is x is equal to 3 okay so we have found the value of the first variable x is equal to 3 but we also need to find y remember we said you can use any of the equations any of the equations here any of this equation to solve uh, for y okay but we did it here we said here y is equal to 13 minus 3x so that is easier so let's just go with that remember we said y is equal to 13 minus 3x okay so to solve that 13 minus 3 times what was the value of x x is 3 we just found it here okay so this is equal to 13 minus 9 okay 3 times 3 is 9 okay so 13 minus 9 is what that is 4 so the value of y is 4 in these two simultaneous equations x is 3 y is 4 and that is how you solve simultaneous equations i hope this was helpful i will stop it there for today please do not forget to subscribe until then happy learning